Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Another face shave, I am going for a daily shave here, which I haven't done for quite a while, and I'm going to be using the Feather ASD2. No, I'm not. ASD2, what the fuck am I talking about? The Feather AC stainless steel. Got no idea why I said that. I'm going to be using a new soap or a soap scent that I haven't used, and that is Satsuma from Sterling. This was very, very kindly gifted to me from John, and the scent on it, I like citrus scents, this is straight citrus. just such a, it's a happy scent, it really is, it's a really bright, zingy, I mean it says Satsuma on here, I call it a tangerine, but Satsuma tangerine, whatever you call it, you know, shite jobby, and it smells brilliant. Good scent strength, like I say, it's just a citrus scent, it's a, it's a singular note, there's nothing flash about it, it does exactly what you want, it's nice and fresh, it's reasonably hot today, around about 20 odd degrees I think, and I'm really looking forward to using it. I put the door open today, I've got absolutely no idea why. I'll just swing it shut a little bit and get stuck in. Now the brush of choice is this one in here. And this is my G-Point Ceramics Rhodium Knot Custom. So it's not even a custom, it is custom, but I didn't actually choose to have this made. This was gifted to me by Serjan Danicic, who owns and operates Rhodium Knots. There is one of his knots. This is a three-band silver tip. This is the only one that he has ever made and he very kindly gifted it to me. It's not something that he will probably ever produce or make a lot of due to the fact that the hairs are so fine that he was finding it difficult to glue them but you can see from that knot it really is a very very nice knot. Very dense. It does sort of gel a little bit. Not much but on the tips just ever so slightly. In fact if I leave it fully wet you might be able to sort of see roughly. I love how this camera just picks up on the brush and it's just completely forgotten about my face. Brilliant. Let's get the moisture out of there. Just dry the handle. The handle is a little bit short. This has lost quite a few hairs. Mainly off camera when the brush was dry. But I have worked on it. I've combed it. I've, I've spent quite a bit of time on it. I think that's a 13 second load. So I don't think any hairs have come out there. I don't think anyway. That's a good load in there. Oh, what a scent. I do actually prefer this over lemon, orange, lime. I actually prefer this sort of tangerine scent. Similar to the one from Heritage Hill soaps. Is it Heritage Hill? I think it's Heritage Hill. I'm just going to scoop out the very small amount of excess. Pop that on there. I'll rinse the soap out now. These are excellent little tubs these. If you are in Australia, I picked these up from the reject shop. They're made in Australia. They're 100% recyclable and they're 100% made from recycled plastic as well. So you sort of helping in both ways if you do end up dumping them. I'm trying to turn the label upside down. I'm not dumping them, but you can recycle them, and that's great, especially in this day and age, for sure. So here we go, let's paint this on. God, it's the only problem with this handle, it's a little bit short. If you get soap on it, it can be a bit of a nightmare to deal with. The reason I've opened the door today is mainly a little bit of cool air in here. But I also had a thought of, if I open the door, it gives a bit of colour in the background, a little bit more for the camera to sort of focus on me more and it might not over expose my face causing it to really darken and things, I'm not sure, I could be talking utter shit but that's the theory behind it now I'm not expecting anything different from the soap the soap should perform as sterling performs which is wonderfully So far, no hairs lost. I am going to splay the brush now because as you can see, it's pretty much translucent all over. It's a beautiful face feel this brush. I think I do ever so slightly prefer this one over my two band. 
for whatever reason. It's got great weight as well. If you do get a knot or you get a handle from, sorry, just give me a second. If you get a handle from G Point Ceramics Home, um, Oliveira over there is Sir Jan's sister. But they're weighty handles. They don't. They feel substantial in your hand. My lips hurting just here where I cut myself yesterday. In terms of the shaving world and the shaving hobby, I am absolutely miles behind what eight ball. I've got no idea what's going on. I don't know who's making what, I don't know what companies are what, I don't know what's new. It's since I have got rid of my smartphone and went to a old school button phone with literally no nothing flash about it. I can call people, I can text people. I have had to recently purchase another phone to replace mine because my son is getting my phone because his phone was unfortunately stolen from school. Some went in his school bag and stole his phone and it's, it was a crappy flip phone, thankfully. It wasn't a six, seven hundred dollar iPhone, but that's not the point. So I've had to fork out and get another phone. But this one does a little bit more. I can get my emails on it, which is ideal for work. If I get called in for overtime, I can get it on my phone now, which for me is a, a thing I want. It's not a thing that's... You know, I want things on there that are they're almost required and getting extra work in, having been out of work for so long and hemorrhaged so much money in the last 12 months, that's a big, big bonus. So not a very voluminous ladder today. But it's going to be more than enough for a good shave. Hopefully, hopefully a good shave. So here we go. I haven't done a daily shave with a chevette for a long time. So there is the brush, chock a block, full of lather. The razor I have got already sitting in the water warming up is the Feather Artist Club stainless steel. And I've got a Feather Super Professional in here which has done several shaves now, just like loads, 20 shaves maybe. And it's it's getting probably to the point where it's becoming very, very smooth and comfortable now. Not that it wasn't before, but... And it is so far so good, it's not too bad. I see a little bit on the blade edge there, but nothing major. Yeah, it's doing really well. So I think I've almost <coughs> hydrated it. <coughs> oh, hydrated it spawn. Taking a while to focus there for some reason. How dare you, camera? Disgusting behaviour. I forgot how to hold this now, so here we go. Left hand.
tiny little hair this year. Oh God, look how good that focuses. Wow. Pretty good. I do have the carb on standby just for oh, chucking the razor all over the place now. Just to finish off if required. I don't know whether I will or not. I'll see how it goes today. I might do the full thing with the chevette and then just touch it on the lips with the carb. That's really the, the major point that I struggle with. even taste like tangerines, a very light taste of tangerines. I mean there's certainly loads of lather. the tips. Just put a little bit of water in. Spit it. And so let's go on to pass number two. Cross the green from left to right. I don't know why I don't do right to left with a chevet. I think it's because I'm right handed. I tend to hold it with my right hand more often, so I start with the left. A little weepers here. Right, here we go. I like sterling. I think it's a great performing soap. That's not quite as comfortable against the green as a lot of soaps I've used recently. I mean, it's nothing major. I've got, I think I've got a couple of minor weepers there, but nothing major. That was pretty good, that one. Pretty good though. Pretty happy with that. Let's see, I've got a few weepers here and there. I, I am putting that down to the soap, believe it or not. Even though I do enjoy sterling, I think it's great. I've used a lot of newer formulas of late. And for whatever reason, I'm just getting better shades from them. It's obviously a lot of time and effort and a lot of tinkering going into a lot of these soaps that are causing them to get really really good results and yes your technique has to be good as well you can
my technique with these chevettes or these disposable blade straight razors isn't the best. It's good. It's, I would say my technique is good now, but I'm certainly not proficient in it. I certainly have a no place to be giving people hints and tips on it. See quite a lot of weepers down there. To be fair, I could almost walk out the door with that, but I'm still not at the point where I'm really happy, so I'm just going to... The carve, once again, with the same wisdom it. Definitely one of the closest shaves I've had with this Shubet though. Definitely, was certainly with the feather. And it was reasonably comfortable. I've got a little bit of irritation, but it's not from the soap. I can tell the difference. It's definitely more of a razor burn than, than an irritation from the soap. some cold water there. I've just been watching Marion the Barbarian today using his, his bore brush, I think it was the one from Turn and Shave, that's losing a lot of hairs. Oh, I feel your pain brother, I don't know how fucking much of a pain in the ass it is to have a shedding brush.
Right, we'll rinse the brush out while my skin is sort of drying and settling down a bit. Just feels a little bit raw, but it is a daily shave. I haven't done many of them of late, so my skin just might not be used to it. And then using the feather as well just adds that extra bit of. You need to be good with it, really. And then we'll do the, the crunch test. Oh yeah, hear yeah, that? That tells me there's still a lot of soap in there. What we have? 21 minutes. That's not bad. I'm pretty happy with that. And considering there's not a shit ton of blood floating about, you can definitely see the, the redness all around my lips though. Loads a little weakness there and a little bit of irritation. But that will die down quickly. If there's one thing that Codex skin food's good for, it's good for that. So you can hear now, it's died down heaps. It's still there, but getting completely out, out of such a thick, dense knot can be quite difficult. So. Now you probably notice I've gone back to doing this. I found that if there's any loose hairs in there, they come out, and it's not really pulling out anything other than the ones that would come out because otherwise the whole knot would just disintegrate and everything would come out. So that's one hair I've lost on this, this shave, one in a tiny little bit. It's done well. Satsuma from Sterling, absolutely superb stuff. I'm just going to wet my face again just to get rid of all the blood spots. I'm going to dry my hands partly because my skin's still wet on my face and then grab one square of Codex, Codex Australia, Codex Beauty Skin Superfood. So it's one pump on there, like so. It's not a lot of cream, it really isn't. Rub that on. The brush for today was the G Point Ceramics. There is the logo for G Point, made by Oliveira, who is Surjan, who makes the knots, his sister. And it's a fantastic knot. I think it's a 27mm three band silver tip. They are finer hairs, it's very soft, but it's got shit tons of scrub. Like I say, I'm not losing many hairs out of it now, so it's settling down, I think, similar to what my two band did. The first razor was the Feather Artist Club Stainless Steel. One of my favourite razors to be honest, I absolutely love it. I am looking at possibly trading this and the wick for a wooden scaled one, either a wooden scaled one of these, or maybe a few blades thrown in, or the, I can't remember the, the next model up without any blades thrown in, but that's my sort of theory at the moment, so I may throw that out there at some point. Finished off today with the carve, once again, 3.25 inch handle, stainless steel, with the A-plate, and uh, it was a mess. I don't know how many shaves that was a mess done now, but it's done a lot of shaves. And it still feels great. It's maybe not shaving quite as efficiently as it did in the beginning. But you can't expect that from a blade that's done. I mean, it's done well over sort of 20 shaves, I think, as well. And it finished off today with Codex Beauty Skin Superfood. And uh, there's not much more I can really say about that stuff. It's absolutely fantastic. I think it's definitely worth the money. I mean, I've been using that now since I've been using it a long time, and you can see where it's sort of sucked in a little bit. This, this is just full of cream still, full of cream from about here, I would say. Just chock a block full. Yeah, so it's, it's going to last you a long, long time if you're using one pump per shave, definitely. But yeah, that was the star of the show, really. Satsuma, brilliant. Crack and scent, typical sterling performance. Probably not the best lather, but it got me there in the end. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.